we're gonna do is we're gonna go to view and open explore properties and toolbox once you got the model it will appear inside of your inventory go over to your inventory and find the model right here xos okay close out the toolbox now we can open the folder drag the screen gui into our gui drag the apps to workspace and you can read the information script if you want to learn how to make things throughout the video that's all so this, for this video i am going to use the information script to help you make things so we'll be making apps we'll be making something called the dynamic smart we'll be caught and we'll be making notifications and all that it's like just so you can make things however you want to make things for the phone so starting off i will insert a part right here this will act as a part that we can touch and when we touch it, we can. Oh, that's what I'm see. I'm gonna name this part right here. Phone touch test. So what we can do is now we can click on the plus in phone scripts, insert a local script, and we'll name this script test phone script. What we'll do first is we will get to the app module right here. And there we go. If it looks like that, we're good to go. So I will make two new lines. Four new lines. And here, what I'll do is I will do script.enable equals false. Wait. Five. Script.enable equals true. So now, right here, this is where we're going to input all of our stuff. If we go into the information script, we're going to start off with creating a notification, which is this section right here. So if I copy this right here, be that we'll change this to app module this is going to create a notification so we can have a image id the header and then the content so what we'll do is when the part is touched it will create a notification with the header header text and the content of content text and the image id of this id so we need to put in a ids for the image, which is what I'm going to do now. So I found my image, so I'm going to replace this right here to the ID. So now, when we're in the game, I'll open the phone by clicking the arrow at the top. Then we will go for the starting up phase as a startup screen. And just wait, it goes to the lock screen, you can swipe up to open. We have settings, app store, Nile, which is a shop app. All these apps will be able to be customized, of course, which we'll get into a bit later. So if I touch this part, our little notification shows up right there and it works so now we'll get on to making something called the dynamic splash so it's just another name of dynamic island if you know what that is so as yeah, soon as it's, 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 just go look at it what we can do is we can just get rid of this and change this to dynamic splash and we'll do the name for it so we can have dynamic splash name the enabled should be true the image well i'm going to put the image that we had last time so look at my image what we'll do is quotation marks rbx asset id colon slash slash facing the id and a new comma and then we can have the text text can be literally anything i'll just put hi for now and then what we'll do is i'll copy this and after the enabled is done we'll set true to false instead now let's go and try it out. So inside the game, I'll click the arrow to bring up the phone. Go for our startup phase. Then what I can do is I can touch the part. We'll have the dynamic splash up there. After 5 seconds, it should go back to normal. Now I'm going to be showing you how to create an app and how to implement the preset apps. So if you remember, we have a folder named apps right here. All the apps have a little description next to them. So we have calculator, which is, oh, sorry, sorry. Cinnamon, which is a chat app. Wayne, Wayne. Rickify is a sound player and sweets. Oh, you make sweets. <laughs> but yeah, so what we do is I will start off with cinnamon because, you know, so if we go to the how to install script, well, 
we'll have the install like uh we'll have the install tutorials so, like this is cinnamon right here it tells us everything that we need to do so two cinnamon goes into here so we'll go follow this the phone mainframe phone outline screen main main screen apps app store then we'll go app frame phoning frame and then there we go so two cinnamon go inside of there and then almost just cinnamon go into the apps frame which is there and then these two should go into replicated storage and cinnamon message bin just go into replicated storage as well and then we'll do cinnamon server which goes into service group service and there we go you have implemented cinnamon into the app store but if you don't want it to be implemented with the app store we'll remove two cinnamon and what we'll do is we'll go into default apps as you can see, this is what creates the apps. So I will copy this right here. So I'll re add the Houston one right here. Open it up, go to get, click on that little script, and then we'll copy everything here. Go back to the default apps, paste this in, then we'll copy this over here, paste it in right here, and change Nile to cinnamon that's how you make it so we can remove this now and then we can remove this one in the app store and there we go you have now made it a default app instead of something that you can get from the app store but i'm going to show you what the app store looks like so i'm just going to keep it like that and it move it from the default apps yeah, so now you know how to well, make a default app. So let's go ahead and test it out. So inside the phone, since we kept it in the app store, we should open the app store. We'll have cinnamon. We'll click get. And it has successfully downloaded cinnamon. We'll go over to cinnamon. Then we have the global chat. If there is more people in the server, there would be so like we could have private chat messages so we could click on the, their profile picture. That we can send them a message. I'm going to send a message to the global chat for now. I'll just say hello. And just so you know, yes, it is filtered. So in Studio, there is no filtering. So you can just type whatever you want. So yeah, just so you know, there is filtering. You're fine. So just put this in the game. So now let's implement all the other apps. So we'll go over to Suite. Suite script goes into service script service. Copy one Suite and Suite. Suite will go into the apps, and one suite will go inside of scrolling frame. And this is the same for all of them, so you should know what to do by now. There we go, I've implemented all of the preset apps, so I'll go ahead and test them out now. So here are our preset apps, we have all of these, so I'll just get all of these. Clear the notifications. Didn't mean to bring it down, so we'll exit this app, and then we have all of our new apps. So we'll start off with Sweet. So you can, this is basically like the uh, Cinnamon app, but it's the uh, one full screen, and it's just the global server. So we could just say hello again, and again it is filtered, so you're fine to do that as well. So Cinnamon again, hello. Just like that there we go we can go to the calculator we can put in anything we want really so i'll just type in like let's see does this work nine plus ten uh that's not right yeah just a little meme i this i don't even know why i made this but i did i kept it in Rickify is our little mp3 player it currently doesn't work so you'll have to script it yourself so there's a little bit of a challenge for you. Get Urkify to work. There's your there's your challenge. If you go into settings, I'll show you the settings actually. We have the reflection shadows and diffuse. Those are the only settings. We can change the wallpaper so I can change the home screen to this wallpaper if I wanted to. I could change it to this wallpaper. And we can set in a custom ID, but I'm not gonna do that. You can try that out if you want and so just have 
some little credit silver down there. Keep that and you can delete it if you want. I don't really care, but you can delete it, you can keep it, credit me. But yeah. Then we have Nile. We'll get to Nile soon to customize it. And then we have the app, which you've already shown you. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to make a custom app. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into our test form script and I'm gonna remove everything from here. So the script enables will just be false. Go to app module and we'll change dynamics to create app. Now we're creating our first app. We're gonna name the app just whatever so I can name this. I'll make this an audio player so we can name this be free. Then we can do the icon, the app frame. So right here, what we need to do is we need to go into our default apps. We'll copy this down. Uh, you can enter this in manually if you want. Uh, we could do like local apps frame equals this. So then what we can do is we could just do apps frame. And then what we'll do now is we'll create our app. So if we go to apps, we can go to blank app, drag blank app into the apps frame. We can make the GY visible by clicking on the phone. Going down, go to enable to make that show it's true. Click on blank app, scroll down, go to visible, make sure there's a tick there. And then change group transparency to zero. Set enable to true. And then click blank, blank app, scroll down, group visible again. And then we have our new app. So we can open this up. So we don't want to mess with anything except app frame. Do not edit anything else because that's gonna it's gonna break it a few things. So I wouldn't do that. So what we'll do is I'll click on the plus in app frame and I'm gonna make my app. I'm gonna let you make your own app. So you can pause the video if you wanna watch this, but you're gonna have to pause a lot because I'm just gonna do a quick sort of speed build. So I'm gonna make my app. Let's go. And there we go, I've made my app. So what we'll do now is we'll go back over to our test phone script. Then we can do this apps frame. Dot, uh, just the name of your app. So if you named something other than mine, which is audio player. My own, so I'll play an audio player. Then what we'll do is we'll do one more, which is page right here. So page be page one. You can choose page one, page two, and page three. I'm gonna choose page one because in the phone there is multiple pages. So you like you you can scroll on the phone and it will go to a different page. So you can add this on page one, page two, or page three. Then we have the apps color, so we'll do color free dot from RGB. And then what we'll do is we can just put in a random color, I'll put in something like nice teal sort of color and there we go we have made our app so are we done well i guess we are so we'll click on audio player hold on visible false and we'll do the screen gui right here and we'll set enable to false so then once we've done that we're pretty much done so let's go ahead and test so we're in the game i'm gonna touch the parts we now have our mp3 player i'll click on it and the audio player does in fact work so that's a good thing so that is how you make an app as well i didn't use a tr transparent image so it doesn't look like any of the other ones so just to finish things off i'm going to show you how you can customize nile so to finish this video off i'll go scroll down we'll go back to our apps for our apps frame sorry we'll close everything up we'll click on nile visible and we'll make the phone enabled then all we have to do is we can go into Nile app frame and we can just customize every single thing here. And if you want to add more products, just okay then. Just do control and D. And we'll open it up. Click on the local script. And then we all we have to do is just edit this stuff right here. Just edit that. And you're completely done. That is pretty much everything I need to explain about VexOS, which is my 
of a phone GUI I made and spent way too long on. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy using my little phone system that I have. And yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to explain in this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.